بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you for the time to me to present it, our presentation. I am study and my co-anchor at Vivita Rahmadani, Vita Radhiritahyani, Slamat Minadri and Atibiono. We are from the Faculty of Agriculture, Sublas Marat University, Surakarta, Indonesia. Our presentation title is the use of biocar and biofilm biofertilizer to increase price yield. Please let me to present it, our presentation. As we know that rice is the most strategic food commodity in Indonesia. So its supplies efficiently must be uh, maintained. And the use of biofilm biofertilizer is one of the effort to support of an environmentally friendly sustainable agriculture system for rice. Biofilm fertilizer is a new development of biofertilizer biotechnology to increase their effectivity and consistency. From previous research show that the use of biofilm biofertilizer can increase rice yield and uh, on alluvial and the salt soil. While biocar as the technology has been widely used in agriculture with uh, various research. In this research, we want to study if biocar can optimize the effect of biofilm biofertilizer on rice yield. So the aim of our research are to study if biocar uh, bio optimize or increase the effect of biofilm biofertilization in increasing rice yield. And the second is to find out the combination treatment of biocar and biofilm biofertilization, giving the highest rice yield in Alpizol. The experiment was done in greenhouse of the Faculty of Agriculture, Sublas Marriage University within April to October 2021. We use randomized completely design with three factors. Say the first factor is the use of biofilm biofertilizer method and uh, use biofilm biofertilizer. The second factor is the method of biocar application by spreading on the surface mix uh, and mix surely uh, the soil. And the third factor is the doses of biocar that is zero, 15, and should be ton per hectare. The variables to be observed were soil chemical properties and rice growth and yield. And the data will uh, be analyzed by ANOVA and followed by the DMRT if 
any significant uh, this is uh, the layout of the treatment and this is the data of some soil properties that we use in the experiment. From the data of uh, the table uh, one, we can say that the soil used in this experiment has a low fertility as indicated by the low value of soil pH, low of total nitrogen, low of uh, extremely potassium, low of uh, phosphorus available, and uh, moderate cation exchange capacity. The soil condition will affect in its capability to support microbial growth and activity, as well as uh, plant growth and yield. So it needs uh, some effort to increase uh, soil productivity in its management. This is the FICO of the effect of the treatment on plant health as indicator of plant growth. The effect of the treatment on uh, plant health was not significant as uh, we analyze from uh, ANOVA and the use of biofilm biofertilizer bio has not been able to increase plant growth yet, while the use of biocar at the dose of uh, until 30 ton per hectare make surely with the soil accompanied by the use of biofilm biofertilizer tend to increase plant head really This is uh, the vigor and the influence of liquid biofilm biofertilizer concentration method of a biocar application and biocar dose to the Tyler number of rice and artificial soil of the McDonald. And this is the figure, the invent of the treatment on the Tyler uh, productive Tyler number as indicator of uh, rice yield. The differences among uh, the biofilm by fertilization treatment uh, and not maybe caused by the factor needed by the microbe to grow and active uh, optimally was not fulfilled by the soil because of the low uh, pH, low nutrient available, as well as low uh, organic carbon uh, in the soil as source of their energy. So from this uh, treatment uh, research, uh, from the research we can say, we can conclude that the use of a biocar is more effective, 
como a visión eh, eh, we applied a, a split it in the soil surface then by uh, make a survey with the soil and the second biofilm by fertilization use has not been able to increase growth and yield of uh, rice yet in the uh, artificial soil. So we suggest that the biofilm by fertilizer formula has to, to increase its activity to support plant growth by increasing its capacity to increase available plant nutrient as well as plant growth promoting substances. Thank you for your attention.